No difference whatsoever. Uh, I, I'm here to also try and understand what brand purpose is. And, and probably following on from that, I'd like to understand if brand purpose is necessary for every business. And I'm going to be enlightened with our illustrious panel, who all have quite strong points of view on brand purpose. It's a topic that's very close to my heart, and particularly working at Westpac, it is absolutely central to the DNA of the company. All the way from Gail through to our frontline staff, it is, it is so important to us. Our, our purpose is to help all of our customers, our communities, and our staff prosper and grow. So that is at the centre of every single decision we make on a day-to-day -day basis. And the beauty of that is the culture of the organisation is lined up behind that. Um, each decision, as I said, we make is also behind that. And by having such a strong sense of purpose and some fantastic initiatives that we do for our staff, our community and our customers, it enables us to communicate in a really different way. It, it changes the rules of communication actually and that's why we're able to do such a great series in Air Rescue because if we didn't, if the Westpac group didn't have that sense of purpose, it wouldn't have made sense to do Air Rescue and it was such a great success for us. So it's really, really important to me and, and also to the company that we work for. So I think the first distinction to draw that, that I would encourage everybody to, to think about is the difference between a corporate purpose, which is about what the people of your company get up every day to do, why they come to work, and the values that are associated with driving the behavior behind that, uh, or, or at least um, putting guardrails around what type of behavior is expected, and brand strategy. Um, now, to some extent, especially for a corporate brand like Telstra, the brand is the jacket that the business wears. Uh, so it is its uh, external as well as, to some degree, its internal um, uh, uh, vehicle uh, for communicating and living and breathing and all the rest of it, and it, it provides guardrails. But I make this distinction between uh, corporate purpose and brand strategy. What I see a lot of is grafting on a social, uh, uh, corporate social responsibility strategy into a brand strategy and calling it brand purpose, which it's not. Frankly, I think that's just <coughs> borrowed interest. However, having a corporate purpose is very, very important. And we've seen, uh, at Telstra, we've seen it galvanize 40,000 people into doing something much more meaningful than they thought they were doing. It is interesting, isn't it, where there's lots of case studies around, if you like, service-based businesses using, using, let's call it brand advertising for fun, um, brand advertising to actually drive the behaviour back into the organisation. So there is this really, especially for organisations as massive as a Telstra, um, like Qantas is here as well, um, you are able to actually use the power of advertising to generate a sense of purpose back into the building and therefore change the behaviour. Um, because clearly you want, you know, it, let's say in the shop front, certain behaviours. Um, and it, it's one of those wonderful things that ads can do, which is why I do see advertising as, the, as almost the ultimate expression. And there's a really, there's great excitement. And Lisa, the brand purposes, and we're going to be talking about brand purposes, and, uh, do they have to be worthy? Absolutely. If they're not worthy, they're not believable, they're not authentic and people see through that straight away. I think the, the point on corporate purses, purpose versus brand strategy, for us it's actually different. We're a house of brands, um, but our Westpac brand purpose or strategy, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> is actually aligned to our corporate purpose, so our brand proposition for Westpac everyone knows it, but I'll repeat it, is Australia proudly supported by Westpac. They directly align with what we're trying to do, what we're trying to do. All of our brands are helpful in different ways and they engage with our customers in different ways, but Westpac being the master brand lines up directly behind the corporate purpose, therefore it enables us to do a whole lot of different things around that because <clears throat> our customers find it meaningful, so we've got that shared sense of meaning and shared sense of value. So I think it's important actually to line up rather than have them completely disaggregated. There's something interesting about three words as well. They're very, it's very powerful. When Nike comes out in 1980 with a purpose, a life purpose around just doing it, it's really powerful. And what does everyone then want? They want to copy it. You know? yeah. And then you go even further back and Coca-Cola wanted to teach the world to sing. So you know the notion of brand purpose, 
I, I think it does, this luck plays a role. Yeah. Where just things align. And vision statements are about a picture of the future that you want to pursue. And for most people, um, beyond executive levels in an organization, that's very difficult to get your head around. Um, and certainly very difficult for you to then internalize and say, what does that mean for me and how I do my job? Because uh, I pick up phones. Uh, um, a, a corporate purpose, on the other hand, is a reason why we do what we do, because we believe we're making something more important than the function of what we do every day. If that's where we're going as an organization and a group of people, then our brand is about saying, well, what does that mean for customers? And translate that into uh, uh, meaningful examples of, uh, of the journey towards that, um, and also a, uh, a set of promises and assertions uh, and connections with customers that brings that to life. So it's not necessarily about taking that corporate purpose and saying, well, that's the, that's the advertising brief. It's not. It's absolutely not. I know when we launched our brand commercial, um, it was a lot of it was around, we've been through the GFC, give us some optimism, we really that's want it. some optimism, and that's a purpose in itself, I, I understand that, but I do see a, a, a direct linkage between the brand work that has a purpose and a, and a company purpose.